So the next thing we're going to be looking at are free fall problems. And those are problems, for example, where um, you have something that you throw up in the air and they want you to find uh, the, the time it takes for it to reach the ground again. Or you're on a hill and you throw something down, stuff like that. Um, so I've broken it down into four different um, types of questions that they could ask. And these are the only ones they could ever ask. And we'll even see that some are very, very similar. So the first one that we're going to do um, is something where we're on the ground and we shoot it up. The second type of question could be we're on a hill and we throw it up at initial velocity. Um, third one, it's on a hill and we throw it down. And then the fourth and final one is we drop it from a hill um, and that would mean that the initial speed is zero. right? Um, and we'll see that two and three are almost identical um, and we'll see why that's the case. So the things that I want to note um, for these type of question, uh, we'll just draw something like this. So say we have, that's pretty much how it's going to look. These are the, this is the question um, number two where we're on a hill and we throw something up. All right? So there's a, a couple important things I want to note. Um, so first off, I drew it like this at an angle, but this is not a projectile. Um, this is the same as if I just drew it. The, the object goes straight up and it comes back straight down. But it's just hard for me to draw it um, on a straight line for you guys to see anything, so I drew it like this. But don't think it's a projectile motion question. Simple, just free fall. Okay? So the first one that I want to note is point B. Okay? So let's just call this uh, V naught. So point B. Um, at point B, what we need to know is that the, the speed is zero. Okay? The speed at point B is zero. That's the point where it's going from a, a positive speed down to a negative speed. So at point B at this very very top, um, B equals zero and this is our max height. Okay? So that's one thing to note. C is the next one. And C is at the same height um, as where we started. Okay, um, So C equals, so the velocity at C equals negative v naught. Okay? So what is that saying? That's saying that if I shot something at 10 meters per second, when it comes back down, so it goes up, up to zero seconds, and when it comes back down, at point C, it will be going at 10 meters per second as well. But it's going to be going in the negative direction now. Um, and so that's very, very important to note. And we'll, we'll see that also because, say for example, the hill we're on a hill and we're throwing something down. These are exactly identical because if I were to go up like that and then back down, it's the same as if I just started throwing the, the thing down. That's all that's important to us. We just wanted to know the initial speed. Um, and so for this type of question, um, they will never give you the speed that it is traveling down. You have to just know that. You have to know that this speed is the same as this speed, um, but in the reverse direction. So that's an important thing to note. Um, and I think those are all the important things that are kind of tricky for you to remember. Everything else is fairly basic. But the next thing that we're going to be talking about um, are what type of questions can they ask. And there's really only four main types of questions that they can ask. As long as you can do these four for different types of problems, you'll be fine. Um, so the first one is what's the max height? Um, and that's just the same as our, our point B, um, our max height. Um, and the, the height is they could, you have to be careful if they want to know from the height above the hill or the height above the ground, but they'll, they'll distinguish that. The next one is the speed at different points. And they could ask you the speed at um, anywhere along the curve, but generally they'll only ask you the speed at the very top, and we remember that that is zero, right? So that's just kind of a conceptual question that they may ask. And the speed at the bottom. The speed at the bottom, um, that's something that you'll have to calculate. The next one is acceleration. So acceleration is nothing that we can calculate. This is a constant. So this is negative 10 meters per second squared. And you, you guys might have learned it as 9.81, 9.8, something like that. But without a calculator, it's negative 10. So just round it off to negative 10 and you'll be fine. And so time to reach the top and time to reach the bottom. Um, they could ask you time at a specific point. Uh, it, it, they probably will generally not ask that, so generally they'll just ask you the time it takes to get to the very top, time it gets to get to the very bottom, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, so the steps to solving these problems are the first thing we want to do is of course draw a picture. Um, the second one we want to pick a coordinate system. So are we going to say that this is um, positive or is this positive? Velocity. All right? And then the third one we want to do is we want to write out the, uh, the knowns. What, what do we know from the word problem? Then the fourth one is identify the unknowns. Find out what do we need to find out and also we need to find out what was not given so that we can choose an equation. And then the last step is just simply to solve it. So we have a question here. Um, so it says John throws a ball in the air from ground level at 10 meters per second. What is its max height? So our first step was um, draw a picture. So he's on the ground. Right? And he throws the ball up in the air at V naught equals 10. Right? So he throws the ball up in the air um, and it wants to find what is the max height. So it just wants to find that point right there. Okay? So let's do the second step. Or th the second step was pick a coordinate system. So I'm just going to say positive is going up. So V naught would be positive and acceleration would be negative. Right? Um, so what are our knowns? What do we know? So we know V0 equals 10. We also know acceleration equals negative 10. Um, what else do we know? Um, do we know the, the time? So let's see the time. Well, we don't know the time. It wasn't ever given to us. And let's see what else do we know? Um, distance. Well, that's what we want to find, so we'll worry about that. Um, and also, final velocity. Okay, so the final velocity, do we know the final velocity? Well, it's at its max height, so we do know the final velocity. We know that it's at zero. Okay? So those are what we know, and this is the one that we don't care about, and it'll help us choose our equation, and D is what we want to find out. Um, so since T is what we don't know, and we, we don't worry about it, we use this equation right here. So v squared equals v naught squared plus 2ad.